Thank you for your question on the prevalence of the clicks in the Bantu language. I will give uh, some examples of Sasutu words. Sasutu is a Bantu language. Words that have the clicking sound. And these are words that I would say are commonly used in Basutu conversations. And I hope they give you an idea of how prevalent the use of um, clicking is in the language. Kwaela. Kwaela. Kwaela mosi. Mosi is a dress. Kwaela means button. Button the dress. Kwaela mosi. Kwaela mosi. Unbutton the dress. Kwaela. Unbutton. Kwaela. Unbutton. Kileza. Kileza. Limp or hop. Kileza. Oa Kileza. Oa Kileza. He is limping or he is hopping. Oa Kileza. Kwaela, Kwaela, Kileza, Kaboha, Kaboha, Smile, Kaboha, Kaboha. Abuha is, um, I call it an elevated smile. And I'm not sure I can figure out an English term. Laugh. Abuha. Abuha, I believe, is more a laugh than a smile. Yes. Laugh. Aboha Aboha Kileza Kaula Kwaela Amaga 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 Notice the intonation is different. We will talk about that a little later. Amaga. 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 Look or look carefully. Amaga. Amaga pili utila. Bili means before Utila you cross. Look before you cross. Amaka Bili Utila. It's a pedestrian notice. Ketula 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 Buhobe. Kezula buhobe. It's a directive for you to break the bread. Kezula means bread. I'm sorry. Kezula means break. Kezula means break. Bread. Buhobe. Buhobe. Break the bread. Kezula buhobe. 
Kezo la bohoz. Now, can you imagine how frequently the Basuti people would have need for these uh, phrases and applications of the click sound in the words that I have exemplified? I would say pretty often, very regularly. This is not um, a video in which I, I come up with uh, sentences that make grammatical sense in order to create opportunities to use the clicking words. These are actual conversations that happen in the real Basutu people, working with language in their daily activities. Now, one more thing that you might be interested to learn about before we end this uh, session is that the click words have various types of conjugations. Um, I'm not going to be in a position to do that presentation today, but I will give you an example. The word aboha, aboha, which is a verb ends with a. The word a verb, ja, ends with a. The perfect form of the verb ja, j-a, is jile, j-e-l-e, jile, jile. Remember what we said the word for bread is? Bohobe, ki jile bohobe. Ja means eat. Jile means ate. Ki jile buhobe. I ate bread. Notice that the ending of the verb eat, ja, ends in a in the present tense. Notice that also in the perfect form, jile, it ends with E. Now, hold on to that thought. E in the perfect form. I ate yesterday, I ate a few hours ago. It ends with E. Hold on to the, that E now and bring it to the word kaboha, which means to, which means laugh. Kaboha. Kikawihile. Kikawihile. Remember that E? that represents the perfect form even the past tense in this context it means i am in the state of laughter right now this verb has the perfect form even though it denotes the present time this is an example of a conjugation of an intransitive verb in the Sutu language. The verb that I just illustrated here is kaboha. Kaboha. Ends with a kaboha. Kaboha. Kabuhili. Ki kabuhili hona ho. I am so much in laughter. I know that's a weird uh, translation, but that's the best I can do. That means I'm laughing so hard. Even though the E denotes the perfect form of a verb, in this case, it shows that I am still in laughter. Even as we speak. So if you have any further questions, please let me know. I hope in this video you get an idea that the clicking sound is not a thing of the past, it's not fiction, it is happening and it's still happening. So to end this video I can say Ikedile. Ikedile means I am done. Eta means finished 
or end. And for the perfect form of this verb, we end with E. Eda is edili. Eda means becomes edili. I am done. I will begin a new video tomorrow. Kala. Kala is to begin. Kala. Get like Kala. I will begin. Thank you so much for your questions. Let me know if you want me to explain anything in a specific Bantu language that I imagine I know proficiently and that language is Sasutu.